Yeah, hello YouTube. So today I have one of the newer Maxes, just the long version, the long chassis, the White Max V2. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you that you can wire your LED lights without actually using the Traxxas ESC. Um, you lose functionality, so you can only do high or low beams, and of course your tail lights. But uh, the brakes and stuff won't function with the controller. Uh, and I've made this video before and I got a lot of negative comments so if that happens again I'm not making this video again so here I have a 3S LiPo and a 4S LiPo just to show you that they're the same output for this amplifier which is 16 volts so let me start with the 3S so I have the controller turned on with a Bluetooth module open my phone real quick So I have the track zip, I'll make sure these wires aren't connected. You're fine, bud. You're okay, what'd you do, bud? You fell? Okay, you're fine. Okay, it's not connected. I'm having an issue right quick, turning this off and then back on. Okay, so here we have the interface. So I'm gonna turn on a low beam. Now, these are wired from right to left. So you have blue, black, black on each connector. Blue, black, black, blue, black, black. So the blue one is going to be positive. And here's my multimeter. Let's see if you can see that. So, Right now it's set to, sorry, try to get this clear for you. Right now it's set to low beam, which should be this middle wire. And that output 16 volts, as you can see there, 15.94 volts is what the amplifier outputs to the low beams. And of course this has nothing there because uh, the high isn't done. So deactivate low beam and activate high beam. And now this one is activated at 16 volts. This one is deactivated. So zero volts. And of course, if I turn them both on, they're both activated at 16. Well, sorry. Well, my finger slipped. Now they're both activated at 16 volts. And 16 volts. So that's with a 3S LiPo. Now let me do a 4S LiPo. Sorry for the long video. But if I edit it, people are saying that I'm lying, etc. So I can't edit this video. It's got to be all done in one clip. So this is a Turner G uh, 4S. If you can see 4S. Anyways, here we go. Again, I have both of these activated. So positive is a blue wire, ignore the yellow. Here we have 16 volts, so 15.94, and also 15.94. So that proves that the output of the amplifier is 16.94 for highs and lows. So I'll make a video here in a minute showing me wiring a battery directly to one of these lights in high and low beam using a single battery okay so i'll cut to that here in a minute so this is me i'm going to show you even with a 3s battery that you can light up the front led light so if you follow these wires i didn't want to undo it so i just made an extension it's connected directly to here you can see it wiggling it goes to the front bumper but i have all these lights this wire going back here anyways again so you have blue, black, black, blue, black, black. Thank you. This blue is positive, middle is low beam, outer is high beam. Thank so you. it will work with a three cell battery. So let's see if I can get this going for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So there's positive, 
Now the middle one should be low beam. If I sorry, if I can get this. So there's low beam. I don't know if you can see. And then if I do the outer one, that's high beam. Sorry, kind of having trouble getting this. Is it yeah, baby. Yeah. There we go. That's high beam. And of course, if you twist these two together, you'll have high and low activated at the same time. See, there's high and low at the same time. And it's the same with the rear, the brake lights and the running lights and the reverse lights can all be activated with 16 volts. Again, keep in mind, blue is gonna be your positive. So I'm gonna do that again with a four shell. Hold on, babies. So again, that blue one is gonna be positive. And there you go, activated. They're gonna be brighter on a 4S because it's 16.8 fully charged, but it falls within the specs. So again, we're gonna say the center one is low beam. So there's low beam. And the outer one is going to be high beam. Again, I apologize for the long cut, but I don't want people saying that I'm lying and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing or, you know, trying to cheat the video. So there we go. That proves that you can run one of these off of your battery. Now, if the battery is connected to here, of course, you would solder the positive, which is blue, to one of these and negative to there. So when you connect your battery, your lights stay on on the front and the back if that's how you want to wire it. So thanks for watching.